Hello, welcome to Rando Tech Info. And today we're talking about what Google knows about you and what you can do about it. So first off, a little bit of information about Google. Google is actually owned by an even bigger company called Alphabet. And Alphabet has its fingers in all kinds of pies, generates all kinds of revenue, but of all those revenue generators, Google is its biggest. Now, within Google, Google has its fingers also in a lot of different pies, such as the hardware it sells, like home speakers and phones, like the Nexus series back in the day and the Pixel series now. They're the overseer of the Android operating system, which runs the vast majority of mobile devices the world over. They provide the Chrome browser on PC and on Android devices. They provide all types of apps and services, almost always free of charge. Now, what you have to understand is the words free of charge mean monetarily free of charge. You do pay for these services in information. Google is an advertising juggernaut and as such, data, information, statistics in that world are king and Google's products are designed to solicit and pull information from you and collect data on you to help its advertising be more effective. Now, I'm not trying to villainize Google or say that Google is evil. I myself have owned no less than three Google phones over the years, going all the way back to the Nexus 6P. I own an original Pixel. I own a Pixel 2 XL. I use all kinds of different apps from the Android ecosystem. I use Google a lot. I'm not saying don't use Google, but I do think it's important for you to know the information Google is collecting about you, how you can control that information moving forward, and if you choose to, how to delete some of that information so Google no longer has it. One quick word of warning though, before you go out there and just decide, you know, I don't want Google to know anything, I want to delete all my stuff that Google knows about me, uh, Google does use that information to provide you better services, more relevant services, more relevant products. So. You know, that may not mean anything to you and that's fine. If you want to go out there after watching this video and get rid of all the information Google has about you, fine, more power to you. But if you like the way Google curates and suggests things to you that are kind of catered to you and your lifestyle, you may want to leave a few things out there. Just something I thought I'd mention. So let's get down to business and why you actually clicked on this video. We're going to first talk about how you can find the information Google has on you then we're going to talk about how to get rid of whatever information you want to get rid of. We will also talk about what other people can see as well, besides just Google, like what information about your Gmail or your Google account is public to others. So here I'm on my Gmail screen, and if you look in the upper right hand corner, there's an R, and that is for my uh, profile. That's the profile I'm currently logged into right now randotechinfo at gmail.com click on there and you can see uh, my other accounts are there as well listed down below the account I'm logged in with but I'm gonna work with my Rando Tech Info account so I'm just gonna click on manage your Google account and that will take me to this screen okay and there's actually a lot of useful tools on this screen you can look at your account storage do a privacy checkup all that stuff today we're just going to focus on looking at our personal information so we go over here to personal info and you can see name your birthday uh, your gender all this stuff is in there your password when it was last changed other contact info and then down here it has choose what others see and you can go to about me so as you can see here um, under about me there's a little there's a little uh, key here a little legend that explains what these symbols mean so a lock means only you can see it and the other the little person with another like shadow or person behind it icon means anyone can see it so for my account anybody can see my name now that's not my real name that's my YouTube pseudonym so it's rando tech info so that's fine people can see that profile picture is locked now that's not the same as my youtube account picture which obviously you guys can see this is my google account picture so that's locked that's why you just see this generic r um, my gender is there it is also locked and my birthday is there it is also locked so if you scroll down the contact info you'll see uh, my google account email is there anybody can see it uh, my contact info, I can add other contact info if I choose. I have not done that for this account. 
I can also put some things down here uh, about me, my likes, dislikes, that kind of thing. Um, I have not done that for this account, but if I did do that, I could decide whether or not I wanted people to see that as well. You can also add things like work and education and decide whether you want others to see that information. So once you're done looking at and restricting your personal information, the big and the powerful tools are under here, data and personalization. So go ahead and click on that. And there's a lot of different things in here that can help you with your privacy. There's a privacy checkup tool, uh, ad personalization, activity and timeline, all kinds of different things. We could spend an hour on all of these tools. Today, we're just gonna focus on activity controls. So we're gonna go down here to manage your activity controls. Also, real quick before I do that, notice there are some quick toggles here for web and act activity, location history, and YouTube history. You can quickly toggle these on or off based on your preferences. So, but anyway, we're gonna go down into manage your activity controls. And down here, this is where the really fun stuff starts. So we're gonna go over to manage activity first. Now we'll talk about the auto delete feature here next, but first let's just go down to manage activity and see all the information Google has on us. So if you scroll down, you can see the list. So like today, it knows I used my Pixel Launcher one time on my Pixel 2 XL, my OnePlus Launcher that I used on my OnePlus 7T. Um, you can see what apps you've been using, whether or not you used Google Chrome on a PC or through the app. Twitter, any activity you used on your Google Assistant will be here. It is actually a staggering amount of information that they collect. Basically, anything you do on an Android device will be recorded and placed here. It seems a little crazy, but once again, this is how Google makes the majority of its money is by tracking and keeping data on the people who use its products. Now, what can you do about it? Well, you can delete any specific day or activity from your timeline by simply clicking on the trash can. So like if I clicked on the trash can for today, um, it will delete all my activity from today. Okay, if you go down and click on a specific item, you can delete just a specific item. Google actually provides you with a lot of really powerful tools to protect your privacy. They are here, you can just pick and choose what pieces of information Google has on you if you want to do it. Now, if you've had a Gmail account or a Google account for years and years and years, this is going to take forever to sift through all this information. So. A quick way to go through all the information or to get rid of all the information if you like is to go up here and you can do delete activity by and you can decide whether you want to delete all of your activity from the last hour the last day all time or give it a custom range now if you click on all time it gives you a list of which services you want to delete activity from, and you can do that. But once again, and I mentioned this before, just a word of warning, if you delete all this stuff, it is going to greatly inhibit Google's ability to recommend things to you, and a lot of the stuff that you're used to Google being able to do for you, it may not be able to do it anymore. So just something to kind of keep in mind before you go crazy and delete all your information. Something that has been recommended, and I actually read this in an article by CNET, that they recommended you do that's a little bit less hardcore than deleting all of your information is you can go down here to auto delete and I said earlier we would talk about this you can click on auto delete and have it automatically delete all your activity older than three months or 18 months this might be a little bit better option for a lot of people this will still let Google curate and make recommendations for you and do all the things for you that you're probably used to Google doing um, while still protecting some of your privacy while not getting rid of, of everything. It will get rid of most things, especially if you have an older account. And then finally, last but not least, the same exact thing that we just did for web and app activity can also be done with your location history. You can choose how often to auto delete your location history and individually manage uh, your details of your past activity. And you can do the same thing with your YouTube history. YouTube is of course owned by Google. 
So it makes sense that you would find these controls here as well. Just keep in mind, these things are all done separately. So once you're done, you know, modifying your web and app activity, you will have to go through and separately do it for your location history and YouTube history if you want to be thorough. Well, that's all the useful information I have for one day. If you have your own thoughts about Google and the information it collects about people, put those thoughts down in the comments and share them with others. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info signing out.